Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this makeup look and I'll also be explaining how I prevent under eye creasing. So definitely make sure you stick around until the end. Good makeup starts with a good base. As you can see, my face is dry right now. I have nothing on my face. I just washed my face. And I'm going to show you how I prepare my skin for my makeup. So, I'm going to start with um, moisturizer, then going to go into powder, spray, and primer. To so start with our moisturizer, I'm going to go in with this. I'm also going to go ahead and put some Vaseline on my lips. I'm now going to go in with some powder. And for powder, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Perfect Finish HD Powder brush. As so. This one is from e.l.f. Cosmetics as well. Alright, after having done the powder, I'm just gonna go with a spray. I'm gonna take the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. I'm going to spray that lightly on my face. All right, so once the spray has dried down, then I'm gonna go in with a primer. And I'm going to combine two primers, actually. I'm gonna use the ELF Power Grip Primer and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm gonna apply them both. And once we have properly prepared our skin, now we can go and start with our actual makeup look. So to begin, I am going to start with foundation. And for foundation, I use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade 7 Deep Rich. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this powder from Inglet. It is the HD Sculpting Powder, shade 511. It's supposed to be, I think, a contour since it's a sculpting powder. And on the side, it looked darker than it actually was. But once it arrived, this could never be a contour for me. And I didn't want to waste any products. So I just decided to use it as a face powder. I'm going to take just a brush. This is just a spray bottle with water, so I'm gonna take a brush and the powder from Inglet. I'm gonna dip the brush in and I'm gonna blend it in together with the liquid filter um, foundation from
there. And then I'm gonna take also the um, Revolution banana powder or baking powder, sorry, but in a lighter shade. English wool, but in a lighter shade. I don't know because like the letters are rubbed off. So I don't know exactly what shade this is, but as you can see, it is lighter than the banana one that I just did. I'll spritz my face. Brush into the powder. is it for the concealers and now I'm gonna go in with the elf buddy bronzer and I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm going to spray the brush but also spray inside of the buddy bronzer because I feel like I don't know I feel like it gets more creamier and pigmented if I when I spray like the spray bottle into the product as well and then I'm just gonna blend that. Nose like that. I just go with the angle brush and just swipe over my nose. That's it. That's kick. And then I'll take my e.l.f. buddy blush um, in the shade Blush Pate. And I'll do the same thing. I'll take the brush I use, spritz it, spritz inside the product. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the Super Fix uh, Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Missing Spray that I used at the very beginning and I'm just going to set what we already have in place. I'm gonna take this buff brush again that we use at the beginning to put the powder on when I was preparing my skin and what I'll do is I'm going to take my face powder again, the Inglet one. And I'm just gonna take a bit and take that over my face, like so. And then I'll take the lighter shade of the Revolution Baking Powder, the triangular puff thingy. And I'll just go ahead and press that. A glow, Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. And I'll take the same triangular, like, um, I'm sorry, I'll take the same angled brush as we used for the body bronzer. Just gonna put that in there. Tap the excess off because you can always apply more but not take off what you have already done. And then I'm just gonna go over that in the same place I applied the body bronzer. gonna take this brush makeup revolution london it's a palette it's a small it's a contour compact in the shade medium and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this darkest shade right here and i'm gonna take the top of the brush i put that in there just a bit though not too much tap the excess off and what i'm gonna do 
right below my cheekbone but just at the very end though so i dip that in there to have the excess off and i like the flat part of this brush to really go in there just right there through my face I'll do the same thing at the other side right there and I also do that below the chin And then I'm going to go in with a blush from Lethal Cosmetics. Um, the shade, wait, I forgot the shade. It sounds like a disease. Um, e Echinopsis, Echinopsis, yeah. It's in the shade Echinopsis. I feel like the packaging is a bit impractical because it comes like in this kind of like cards and thingy i love this blush i think this is the favorite blush i've ever had so i'll take the same brush i used the um buddy blush on or with and i'll just dab it in and apply that the same place i applied the buddy blush And you can take some product because it's not that pigmented that it really shows up the way I want to from like one from the first layer let me say it like that and what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take the NYX matte finish uh, makeup setting spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that all over my face And I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry all right so once I've let that dry down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same powder I took at the very beginning the elf perfect finish HD powder and I'm going to take just a buff brush and in there apply that all over my face I don't do eyeshadow i'm not a fan of eyeshadow unfortunately so i just don't do it and i don't do lashes either i hate the way lashes look on me i just go with a nude eye and mascara that's it i don't do eyeshadow don't do lashes maybe eyeshadow sometimes i'll try i'll attempt to do like the shadow um What's it called? The shadow cat eye look thingy, but it's very minimal and very rare. I think I'll only do that on like weddings, like fancy events. I'm not gonna spray my face anymore because I already did that. But what I'll do is I'll take the brushes that I use to contour and to do blush with. And I'm not gonna take any more product, but I'm just going to take the brushes as they are with no more product. But just to bring kind of like that color back, I'm just going to go in in the same places I applied the products with the contour, the bronzer, just the brushes, not the products, bronzer and the blush. And then for brows, I am using the e.l.f. brow lift. And I'm just gonna take a spoolie for my brows. I don't fill in my brows. There's a lot of things I don't do. <laughs> I don't fill in my brows because I feel like my brows are full enough. And the mascara that I'm using today is Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Fill Fan Effect. The only thing that is left is lips. So for my lips, what I'll do is I'll take a dark brown liner. I'll just align my lips. And instead of doing like the glosses and then finishing off with a clear gloss, I do it the other way around. So I line and then I take 
any clear gloss you want. And then I'm gonna take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. And I'm going to take the Tom Ford Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Naked. All right, so this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.